All right, The Dancing Fish, one of my favorites from a long, long time. The Dancing Fish. It's actually called The Fortune Teller Fish, but I like to call it The Dancing Fish. What you want to do to present this, how you present this, is you pull it out, you say, Have you ever seen a dancing fish? Let me show you a dancing fish. What you do is you take the little fish, put it in your hand like this, and if it likes you, it will wiggle and dance for you. Ooh, he likes me. Yeah, he really likes me. You know why he likes me? Because he knows I won't eat him. Do you like sushi? Let's see if he likes you. Have them put out their hand. Wave it back and forth a little bit like this. Put it in their hand. See if it likes them. Ooh, I don't think he likes you. I don't know. Oh, maybe a little bit. A little bit. Oh, if the tail moves, you know what that means? You're going to take a fun trip. Ooh, if the head moves, you know what that means? That means you're a smarty. And if the head and tail both move, uh, let me take a look here. Oh no, it says you're in love. Who are you in love with? Confess, confess. So, kids get a big kick out of that, especially when you finish off with the uh, who are you in love with. So how this works is, it works all by itself. It's fantastic. Just put it in your hand and uh, it'll wiggle and dance all by itself. One of the other things is sometimes if it curls up a lot, it, it'll actually fall off. I say, that means you're too hot. So there's just fun things. The ones that I mentioned are different than what's on the back. It actually tells you things that are on the back. But, but I like the ones that, I've, uh, that I mentioned because it's a little more fun for the kids. So anyway, fortune teller fish, it's a lot of fun. Give it a try.